just testing out my pursuit skills, how fast I can turn around. But anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2018 Dodge Charger pursuit vehicle. And one of our main goals is to actually piece together that front end as much as possible, which will require some structural repairs. But before we do so, we did get a call from the shipping company that our hood is in. We did go with the Hellcat hood. So let's go ahead, run over there, check it out. Hopefully it's not damaged so we don't have to ship it back. All right, so we got the hood in the back of the truck. It looks to be undamaged, so let's head home. All right, guys, so check this sucker out, dude. It's a beautiful Hellcat hood. It is OEM, it's aluminum, it's light, and it looks absolutely amazing. Let's lift that sucker up. Yeah, no yes, damage sir. at all, perfect condition. And the reason why we went with OEM, there is some aftermarket brands out there, but they're really heavy because they're made out of carbon, fi not carbon fiber, fiber glass. fiberglass. So some of them are carbon fiber, and I felt carbon fiber heavier than this. So we wanted to go with aluminum, and we wanted to go with OEM because the fitment is going to be perfect. But right now, we're actually going to put this to the side because what we're trying to do is actually fix this apron. I'd call this an apron, right? Yeah, it's pushed back a little bit, not too much, about an inch. So what we're going to do is actually pull the Ferrari out because we got a winch bolted down to the floor over there. We're going to see if we can hook this sucker up and straighten it out because this is where our radiator support actually bolts onto. We want to get that sucker bolted on so we can throw on that hood, throw on uh, some of the front end parts so we can take this thing down the road, you know Dude, what I mean? Pretty much put together this whole entire front end or as much of this front end together yeah, as possible. Because we do need a few parts, like we want to change this piece right here because, you know, it's it's cut and completely pushed Unless back. Unless we could uh, maybe straighten it up, weld it, I don't know. Yeah. We do have the winch, we're gonna try to pull everything out as much as possible, you know? We do need to take some of this stuff apart, right? Yeah, we do have to take the fender off, probably go ahead and remove the hood, remove all this wiring and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we finally pulled that fender off and you can just check out the damage a lot easier now with the fender off and it just pushed the tip in, which shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to pull it out with our 5,000 pound winch, hopefully, but right now we're gonna actually pull that Ferrari out and extend the winch line and see if we can pull it out outside. And while we're at it, we're gonna try to pull this out as well. This is the metal wheel well. It looks like it's just got bent in and ripped up right here. So if we can straighten that out, perhaps to weld it all back together, then we should be good there. So let's go ahead, pull that Rari out and see if we can fix this damage. Alright guys, check this out. We finally pulled this thing out as straight as possible. Looks really good. 
uh, just a couple of uh, body tools and a 5,000 pound four-wheeler winch bolted down to the ground or bolted down to the shop actually because you know the shop is tough but we got this looking absolutely amazing I'm confident in the radiator support actually bolting on nice and straight but now we're gonna move on to this little piece right here see if we can pull it out maybe by hand a little bit and maybe by winch and see if we can actually reuse this piece if we can we'll just weld it back up straighten it out and uh, that would be good as new but if we can't we'll probably just reorder this piece and see if we can put in a new one because there's just a little piece right here it looks like it's just spot welded in should be pretty simple to change if we have to but we're gonna try to save everything so let's go ahead and see if we can pull this sucker out Y'all just see him grizzly bear that thing right there? Grizzly bear it, man. And then the winch just came in just to hold it in place because it's about to get tacked in, right? Look at that. Yeah, I want to go ahead and tack it in uh, up top a little bit. And once we get that tacked in, there is an actual uh, little tear right here. So once this is all tacked in, we're going to pull it this way a little bit and then tack that in so it's all nice and even. And we should be good, man. We should be Looks nice like we're solid. saving a lot of this uh, interceptor here. Yeah, a lot of interceptor needs to be saved. I want an original interceptor police cruiser, so... We're doing a lot of saving right now, and it's actually pretty easy, you know, it's all still super easy to work with. So right now we're gonna go ahead and pop that welder out and tack this in. guys so we just turned the car around because we got to pull it a little bit that way i was just testing out my pursuit skills how fast i can turn around but anyways we're about to uh, actually latch it on right here and pull this out because it's overlapping right there once that overlap is gone i'm gonna tack it in we should be good to go All right, check this out. It's finally repaired and I went ahead and grinded that down. I'm about to do some body work to actually smooth that out. But before we do so, we're actually gonna run to the store, grab our paint for this car, probably go ahead and grab all of the paint because we're basically gonna be painting the entire front end. So let's go ahead, run to the store and grab all of our supplies. All right, so we are here at the car quest. We're gonna grab a bunch of different supplies just in case, you know. Yep, some etching primer, some adhesion promoter and uh... The it's paint, of course. Yeah, yeah. We're grabbing paint. some standocks and some cheaper stuff because we got some black parts, right? Yeah, we want to use the cheap stuff on some of the parts that are not going to be visible. So we're going to go ahead and buy both of them so we can have it ready because once we spray the inside of the hood and we're ready to spray the outside, we're going to have some of that good paint. So let's go ahead and grab everything and we're going to start heading back. Alrighty, guys. So we just got out of the car quest. We got our paint, we got our primer and a bunch of other goodies, but we're going to talk about exactly what we got back at the house. Alrighty guys, so we are back and this is what we got. We actually got some cheap paint. This is gonna match our paint code, but it is gonna help us get maximum coverage for like the dark stuff like that hood right there. And then we're gonna actually use the standox. This is also the same paint code, but this is gonna match a lot better. So we got two different types of paints here. We also got some adhesion promoter, I believe right there. Some etching primer. This is just for the random stuff, the bare metals. We also got some rags, and then some plastic. We've never used this before, but the guy at the store said just to clean your front bumper with this stuff and then you're ready to spray. So this is gonna be later on let's right now actually focus on that repair right there try to get the glazing putty on it and also get it painted
Alrighty guys, so that area is primed in. It looks absolutely amazing, but while it's drying, we actually decided to go ahead and paint the bottom of this hood. So we went ahead and pulled out the Ferrari because we're about to prep our whole entire area. Let's go ahead and set this on a stand, actually scuff it. Then we're gonna mix up enough paint to paint both of these sections all at once. Alrighty guys, so we got our paint ready to go. We got all the parts ready to go. We even threw in our radiator sport just to give it that OEM look, just to make sure everything is nicely painted. So let's go ahead, spray some base coat and then some clear. Alrighty guys, check it out, dude. Finally, everything is painted. Turned out amazing, dude. Looks good, dude. Surprisingly, no trash at all in the hood, dude. Like, let's go check out that hood. Nothing at all. I mean, look at that, dude. It looks really good, dude. Came out Damn. nice. This is just one coat. Did not want to do too much because it is underneath the car, but. I one did coat a, of clear or two coats yeah, of clear? Uh, I did one thick coat. I did oh, so yeah, just yeah, one, one thick, thick coat. coat. Went around the edges a little bit just to get it nice and perfect. Got that uh, radiator support as well. It's gonna look really nice since it's all white. Yeah, we were, we were debating on leaving that black because I mean, you wouldn't really notice it, but. Yeah, there know. is covers that go on top of it, but went ahead and just did it. Oh, might as style. well, might yeah, as well. Might as well. And then over here, just one little nice mist coat. Didn't want to throw too much because it's actually like a very, like faint clear coat. semi gloss yeah semi gloss so it looks perfect over here right now we're going to go ahead and remove this tarp out of the way and probably set some of this stuff outside so it can dry up nice and nice and quick yep nice and quick so let's go ahead and do it So we pulled it back in. We gave it about an hour to dry, but it's just so hot today that this sucker dried straight up. You can just feel it right there, dude. That is dry. Bone dry. Bone dry. So right now we're actually gonna go ahead and throw our radiator support on. But before we do so, we got one little bracket here that we gotta straighten out. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's pretty thin. So let's go ahead and straighten this sucker out. And then we're gonna grab our radiator support and slap that thing on. Hey, to put the Grizzly Bear strength to it. Look at him. Or never mind, that's probably just Harbor Freight tools for you right that's there. That's Pittsburgh for you, but. Good hey. news. Hey, somewhat. You could return them, put them back in the box, and ship them back. We've got some sideway pliers now. Shoot, you can use these for all types of stuff.
All right, guys, check this out. We got our hood aligned perfectly. Dude, this thing looks absolutely amazing. The Hellcat hood was definitely a, a freaking good call, A dude. must. A, a must, must, dude, a must, dude. It looks so good. I can't wait to get it painted white. I know some of you guys are probably like, leave it high gloss black or something like that, but I think white is just gonna get it a, a sick flow yeah. with or the Or just leave it like the flames right here, the, yeah, the, the, little, the smoky the look. Little dusty look, <laughs> dusty look, but it looks good, dude. We got everything aligned, as you can tell right there. We did have to bend this uh, fender around a little bit because whenever uh, it was wrecked right here, it actually bent it out. Uh, you couldn't tell until we put the hood on it. It was actually pretty bad, but we got everything aligned perfectly. There is gonna be some repairs, as you can tell right here and right here. So we will be repairing this fender. Uh, probably blending on the hood and the fender together depending on how well the paint matches we won't be blending that fender over there because i think it's in perfect condition i don't know yeah, maybe we will blend it maybe we'll just yeah. sand it you know might as well sand everything just have a nice blended front end and the uh, next step is probably gonna go ahead and uh, throw like our headlights on our radiator i mean not our radiator support. our rebar where is our rebar, rebar. right there we're yeah. probably not going to paint that because that's definitely going to be hidden yeah we're not going to be worried about that but our rebar is going on next and then everything else basically in the front we got a headlight that's uh, it's coming in here real soon it'll right? be in tomorrow yeah we got a headlight coming in all that good stuff Dude. When that front end, when that front end is together, dude, that sucker is gonna look mean, dude. Yeah, and as for our, um, our front bumper, no, our bar. You know what? What is that? Oh, called? the bull bar, push pit, bar, pit maneuver device. Yeah, that that is actually like what, like a week out or something, because no. they make them custom made as soon as you order them. They start making them, so we don't know when that's gonna be here. We'll probably give you guys an update in the next video on when that's gonna be here. But other than that, dude, we're looking good on the yeah, front. Yeah, I was gonna show them the gap over here next to the door. Oh, oh, dude. Look at that, dude. It was out of whack earlier, but now it's nice. Perfect. Nice dude. and perfect. Everything's lining up so perfect. Good thing there wasn't no serious frame damage. As you've yeah. seen, we fixed all of the damage here in-house. Our frame machine is bolted down to the floor over there. 5,000 pound frame machine. I don't know how much it costs. We're and like 50 bucks for that frame machine. In-house <laughs> in, yeah. in paint booth as yeah. well. We got a little fan going there. It's all, it all happens here in the house, man. Just to show you guys, you can work on your own cars at home. I mean, this is where it's all, this, this is where it's at, man. This is where it's at, yes, sir. But next thing is to, yeah, like you said, put, it, put together this front end hopefully that headlight will be here tomorrow yeah so. hopefully so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning all right so it is the next day here and unfortunately our headlight did not come in so that means we're not gonna be able to piece together this entire front end but in the meantime we're actually gonna bring in our front bumper and line it up to this Hellcat hood because I believe the Hellcat hood is a little bit different than the stock hood so we may have a little bit of lining up issues so let's go bring it in and just see how well it fits all righty guys so we quickly threw on this front bumper and the fit is pretty dang good we did notice that we need some bumper brackets to kind of just hold it up but this is the indention that we were talking about. The stock bumper with the stock hood just kind of flows, but with the Hellcat hood, it is nice and flat. So we will be doing some body work right there to make it nice and smooth, should be an easy fix. But that's pretty much it. The front end is coming together. We do need to order a few more parts and this thing will be ripping here real soon. But before we go, we haven't done fan mail in a while. So let's go ahead and open some of these packages up and see exactly what you guys sent us. First one here. Ooh, what is that? We got a mic for the Yo. iPhone. We got a mic for the iPhone. Let me no go ahead and read way, this. Dude, read that. If there's a letter a, in there, that is awesome. Definitely gonna use this. Hey guys, get... notice that y'all may be able to use one of these to make your videos. Justin, hope you like it. Dude, dude, thank you so much. Definitely gonna put this to use, man. Appreciate it. All right, so this is from Singapore. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see exactly what we got. Some kind of sign. Ooh, we got a flag. Oh, dude, what that is, is that? pretty sick. Is that the kind of cars that they got over there? Let me see. Yo, I don't know what those cars are, but they look pretty sick. We I got mean, a Proton over here, <laughs> Neutron, and a, I don't know, and, dude. And an Electron right there, yeah, but not, that's pretty dang cool. That's, oh, that's old stuff. Look at 1983, 2000, 2016. We ain't got this type of stuff here in the States. No, so we don't. That's going to look good on the wall right there. We definitely appreciate it. I don't know who sent it. Maybe we got a name here. Let's go ahead and check it out right check here. Check it out, but I bet them suckers right there rip. This is from Veggie Goat. That's his uh, Instagram, so... Appreciate it, Ian, for sending us this cool art. All right, next thing here from Amazon. So let's go ahead and see exactly what this is. Read, this, read the letter first. Uh, red letter right here. Hi, Goon Squad. One of these bad boys back in the day had one of these bad boys. Enjoy your gift from Shane and Nicole from New Jersey, dude. What Yo, is, 
Ooh. What? Ooh. A punami? What was that? A rivet gun? A, a air one? Dude. We still can't pronounce that word. Still right, can't can pronounce it, but dude, this is exactly what we, what we needed. So I definitely appreciate this, guys. Uh, I think that's that's the, international. That's overseas again, dude. Go ahead, crack it, crack it open, see exactly what's in here. Yes, sir. Ooh, Ooh, I see some CDs. I see, fancy. CD? I see CDs. CDs. A CDs. Mix tape? What? Yo, we're gonna have to slide Club that. Club mix got a dance mix. Uh, do we even have CD players in any dude, of these cars? Just put that in that radio, man. That whole car is catching on fire. Dude. To my friends at Guns Call, hi. My name is John from London. Uh, I am a DJ uh, in Florida and New in Florida and New York. I love Ooh. to come down sometime and play some music, man. Heck yeah, at our new shop coming Maybe. real soon. Let's do it. <laughs> Next thing here, let's go ahead and check it out, see what we got. What, what is oh. this? A, a, a collapsing dog bowl, Mac what? Mako, Mako. Max, come here, bud. Yeah. We got something for you. Dude, this is legit, man. Whenever we take him like out to a park or something, running, look at this. What? Max, come get that your water. That is legit, man. Let me see if I got a... Invisible water, that is, bud. <laughs> got something for Buddy so he can stay hydrated oh. and cool on the boat and get out of the sun from the farm dogs. Farm dogs, from the farm dogs. Ooh, that's awesome. This is from the farm dogs. We definitely appreciate it. This is gonna be awesome on the boat. All right, this is from Ivan from CA Builds. California Builds, maybe? California Builds. What? Ooh. We got some Nature Bakery right here. These are really good right here, definitely. Dang, we got a bunch of snacks. We got a little piston, piston rod and a little turbo right there. Check that, that out. We need two of these. Whoa, one of we our got bills. a GT. Oh, Liberty Walk uh, 458. Dude, that is sick right there. Hey, close enough, though, but the, the, this one looks a lot better, I think. So we got some news coming for that here real soon. Go, that. go check out uh, CA Builds from Ivan, man. Thank you for hooking us up with some snacks. All right, so he opened up the first half. I'm actually going to go ahead and open up the second half. Let's go, go ahead, ahead and slice into this one. We Ooh. got in that heavy looking this bag. This one is from California. Well, I see some. Ooh. Um, hey, Goon Squad. Hope all your animals, Thomas, Buddy, Max, and more enjoy the food and toys. We sent other stuff a few months ago, and I'm sure you got it opened it off camera. Sandy Cole, dude, they're going to be feasting. They absolutely love all these snacks and these toys. Max is going to love these toys for sure, but thank you so much. All right, on to the next one here. This is from. I don't know. It doesn't say anything on it, but go ahead and crack it open. Mini GPS vehicle tracker. Dude, these are perfect, what? you know, just in case you never know. We need to track our police car right there, man. Right. We're gonna set them in all of our rigs and uh, we're gonna stay safe. And if anything happens, we're coming straight to you. <laughs> Another one here. I don't know where this one is from. Didn't say nothing, from didn't Amazon. know that. <laughs> Yo, dude. What? I don't know what this is exactly, but I think I know what that is. Hey guys, love your channel. I thought these might be handy for keeping bolt holes and other things capped off on painting and cleaning. Keep up the great work. Chris Michalowski, dude. Thank you so much. Thanks for the thought, man. We're definitely gonna use that. All right, we got a few more here. This one is all the way from, I don't know, this is international stuff, man. This international stuff is amazing. Interesting. Got a flag there. And also, we got some double dares, dude. You want to do some double Who's dares? Double dare. Triple dog dare. Wow. Two Goon Squad, greetings from Wales, UK. Love the channel and how down to earth you guys are. Thank you. Keep up the good work from Wesley. Wesley. Thank you for the awesome snacks and also this key tag. It's pretty dang cool. All right, last one here. Ooh, not another, another one. one. Man, we definitely appreciate you guys so much, man. You guys are thinking about all the hardships that we're going through. Now I mean, one for you and one for me, man. Hey, perfect. Now we don't have to fight over it, but thank you guys for all the love and support. I hope you guys are enjoying the cop rebuild. We're having an absolute blast. So with that being said, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you haven't, guys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com, copy some merch, and help support your boys. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.